Hey there, puzzlers! My name is Fleb, and today I want to show you the Collins Puzzle, or as it's known in this version, the Cast Cricket. It was invented by Reuben John Cooper Collins in 1898, during the puzzle revolution that was happening in the late 1800s and early 1900s. In the classic puzzle survey Puzzles Old and New by Slocum and Bodermans, they describe it as an ingenious puzzle and a section devoted to disentanglement puzzles. I've attached the original patent in the description of this video, which is a good read if only for its grandiose introduction. You may also notice that the names in Puzzles Old and New and the patent don't match up. That's a typo in the book. The reason that it's called the cast cricket is that the original inventor was British, and designed the outer part of the puzzle to look like a cricket wicket. Each of the blades on the inner propeller was designed to look like a cricket bat as well. The object of this puzzle is to remove the six-bladed propeller from the H-shaped slot. These studs on the blades can only pass through the puzzle at certain points, and they block the blade from moving most ways, so you can't just take it straight off. They're on both sides of the propeller as well. There's also one particular blade, which instead of having a stud, has two rib sections. This is the hardest piece to get off of the puzzle. When you're solving this puzzle for the first time, you may notice that there's a break in the center of the wicket, as well as a small indentation. We're going to need both of those to get this blade off. This puzzle is not very difficult, but its solution is very interesting. Let's get started. In order to solve this puzzle, we're going to have to move the propeller blade to the other side of the H. That's the only way that we can use the small indentation. If we try to just pass the propeller over, it doesn't quite work. You can almost get it horizontal, but not quite. And the reason is that there's just not enough room in these two slots here to push it all the way through. However, if you take the propeller down and pass one of the studs to the center hole, then you can use this center piece here, which has a lot more room. Rotating it, there's just enough room to get it over to the other side. Now we still have a problem. This rib section here is going to block any attempt to take this off this way, and the stud will block any attempt to take it off the other way. As a result, we need to turn the propeller around. If we bring the propeller up to the top of the puzzle, we can pass two other studs through, which allows us to only have a single skinny piece still on the H. This gives us the room we need to turn the piece all the way around. Now we can use this notch. Rotating two studs through and bringing the propeller down allows us to bring that rib section so that it fits exactly with that hole in the middle section. Once that's done, we can rotate out the remaining two studs to the center hole. And there we have it. The solution combines a number of interesting moves, which is why it stood the test of time. If you are interested in more puzzle content, please subscribe below. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and happy puzzling.